Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I am back in my favorite room in the house, Ace's Nursery. If you are new to my channel, my name is Cheyenne. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it, subscribe to our channel, and turn on your post notifications. This video is sponsored by Tommy John. Tommy John has relaxing clothes, that's what I like to call them, like lounging clothes and pajamas. They started with just men's underwear, and by the way, Zach loves their boxers, like, swears by them. But I'm currently in a loungewear set right now. I'll put in clips to show you guys some of the other items that I got from them, including some pajamas and some loungewear. I do like to mix and match them. They're very, very comfy. You can spot me and mine doing things around the house chilling like right now i like their material it's just super soft it doesn't like bunch or get baggy or anything i honestly feel like when i put them on it's like oh you know it feels good i suggest you guys to head on over to tommy john check them out they're always evolving always adding new things and it's fun to of course mix and match i like to mix and match try tommy john today use my code click the link in my description box and you can get 20 percent off plus free shipping and let's get into the video so i have this idea that i want to start doing on the channel and you guys can let me know if you think it's a good idea or if you think like maybe not shy basically i feel like like, I want to start almost like a let's get real and talk about things that maybe necessarily I wouldn't talk about on here or I wouldn't necessarily share out of like fear for like being judged or mom guilt or mom shame or like whatever the reason is. So today our let's get real topic is going to be about the fourth trimester postpartum and kind of like an update on ace and rider and being a mom of like two now which has a good days and it's bad days okay, so let's get real guys and if you have any topic suggestions then drop them in the comments below i'll start tackling some of these uncomfortable but necessary conversations so to start from the beginning of my postpartum journey with ace it has to go back to my postpartum journey with Ryder. i was not prepared for postpartum recovery i wasn't prepared for postpartum depression I wasn't prepared for the fourth trimester and I keep on saying the fourth trimester because I truly feel after you have your baby there's a whole nother trimester of getting your life back together and that's your body that's your recovery that's your mental health that's just like understanding who you are as a parent and stuff and it's taken me a long time to understand that there is a fourth trimester, but I totally think there is one now. You guys let me know if you agree or disagree. But with Ryder, I was not ready. Like, and I honestly feel like, I don't know if anyone was preparing me to get ready necessarily for it, or if they just thought I knew. So I wanna talk about it because I thought it was like in the movies, you have the baby, they clean them really quick and then they give, they give you the baby and then everything is just beautiful and dandy from there. Not true, guys. And I'm talking like even up in the hospital after you had the baby, you're still legs wide open for like a good 40 minutes and they're pushing your stomach to get all of the afterbirth out and your placenta and then if you tear, you get stitched up and it's not it's not all cute i wasn't ready for that so if you are expecting get ready for that um i wish i would have known so that i could have mentally been ready but having ace i was ready this time because i went through it with Ryder, and their births were very different Ryder's was very hard on my body i pushed for over two and a half hours and with ace i pushed for less than five minutes so the wear and tear that happened with ride didn't happen with ace but my recovery with rider was so hard it was genuinely really really hard and when i say recovery it was like i was recovering from having birth i labored with for with her for 28 hours i did 16 17 of those hours unmedicated i really wanted to have her completely natural with no medicine but it got to the point where my body was like about to just shut down that i i was like my doctor's like you need something like if you want to keep going you need something 
So I ended up getting an epidural, and even after the epidural, it was really rough. And like I said, I pushed for two and a half hours. I tore a lot, like a lot, a lot. So bringing the baby home, I was in so much pain when I brought Ryder home. Like a ridiculous amount of pain. When I think about it right now, it my vagina hurts. That's how much pain. And I wasn't prepared. After I had her, I went on Pinterest and was looking up like padsicles, like things to do for afterbirth care. And I just wasn't ready. I just thought, you know, you bleed after. I had pads, I was ready for that, but I wasn't fully ready for, you know, everything else. Um, my sister would put pillows down on the couch and would, that's how I would sit on the couch because I couldn't get up and down comfortably. I couldn't sit comfortably. I couldn't use the bathroom comfortably. I just remember crying so, so much out of just the pain. And then finding out two days after we were home from the hospital that she had a rare disease. I think I took all of the pain that I was physically having and put it somewhere else. Like I just, it just got out of my head and that wasn't my focus. My focus was now I have this brand new baby that they're telling me has this rare disease that I've never heard of in my life. It was so many questions around what she, what she had. Was she okay? Was, you know, and as a new mom and a young mom, it was the scariest thing I've ever been through. And I say all that because leading up to ACE now, present day, I hope this is going to make sense. Zach and I were talking about postpartum depression. And he was asking me, you know, what am I doing to be preventative with having ACE and, and how I feel because of how my recovery and how everything went with Ryder. And I thought about it and I'm like, did I have postpartum depression with Ryder? And he's looking at me like, did you not realize it? And I'm like... Did I put that out of my head, you know? And he's like, shy, Google it. And we Googled it and went through all of the symptoms and literally checked them all off. Insomnia, fatigue, lack of appetite, crying spells, mood swings. There were so many on there and I'm like, okay, 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 did this, did this, did this, did this. And he's like, I remember waking up in the middle of the night and you'd just be sitting there sobbing and or we'd be out at the grocery store and all of a sudden you'd just start crying and you couldn't explain why. And I'm like, why don't I remember any of these things? And I really feel like my brain to protect myself has almost like put them in like a different category where I just don't think about them. The weird thing is, is that a part of me was already looking at preventative things or things to help me with after I had ACE about dealing with postpartum and not only with like depression but dealing with recovery like physically so it's almost like my body and my brain put it out put those memories and things out from Ryder but was still thinking about them and protecting myself because I was already looking at these things and looking back I look at even pictures of myself after I had Ryder and I was so skinny and I'm like why didn't anybody tell me I was this skinny and my sister was like we told you shy like we were all there we all we were right next to you telling you and I'm just like it's so crazy that I don't I just don't remember I always use the example of how I felt when I was pregnant with her even after I had her was that I was surrounded by so many people I was in a room with people all the time there was always somebody with me and no matter what I still felt like I was the only one in there I felt like no one understood what I was going through it was just really really hard if you know the story of how I got pregnant and then going through a pregnancy by yourself it's not fun it's not easy and then having so many questions regarding around my pregnancy, it was really difficult for me to go through. Having a difficult labor was hard. And then finding out that Ryder had a rare disease, it was just like, it just felt like I was getting like back to back to back things and I just didn't know how to handle them and a part of me feels like I don't even know if I wanted to know how to handle them I wanted somebody to just make everything okay and I wasn't in that position and when I was pregnant with Ace the whole time I was nervous like waiting for something to happen like waiting for bad news or I don't know it was weird 
and every doctor's appointment it just felt like a, a weight was lifted off me that he's okay he's fine even finding out that ace didn't have vl card which is what rye has it was hard it wasn't hard from the standpoint of like of course i was so happy that he didn't have it but it's like how do you celebrate him not having it when Ryder still has it you know and as a mother you just feel so much like guilt and you just think about your kids and the differences and having two of them you just want them to always be okay and always to feel loved and I was having a really difficult time with a lot of things and and understanding that nothing has to be wrong and that just sounds so weird to say but like that's me being honest and I'm trying to do these vlogs in all honesty of what my mindset was and is you know and going through postpartum now I just feel like I've just really it's night and day with my experiences with having Ryder and with having Ace and my recovery was night and day but i was able to be prepared this time i have a whole box in this nursery i'll show you guys clips of it of my like postpartum care box in at the bottom i put things that were like more so like clothing items so like a nursing bras i had belly wraps i had nursing tops like things where i knew i can go to the store and i can get exactly what i want from it compression socks things that i was scrambling to look for and get after i had rye so i knew this time i wanted to be super super organized and then in the middle section it was all things pertaining to nursing so like the pads you put in your bra so you don't like leak all of your clothes i had nipple covers i had different kind of pumps i had like a whole boob section basically and then the top was more so like aftercare down below so freedom moms had really really good products that i really really liked i will link them below also and organic earth mama had good products so i stocked up i have way too much stuff left over now but I was so nervous that I wasn't going to be prepared that I overbought this time like over overbought where I'm almost embarrassed at how much stuff I bought and I'm like why did you think that you were gonna need all this but I refused to be in that position and feel that way of being unprepared that I was the first time because I felt like me being so unprepared made me a bad mom. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed our story time slash let's get real talk today. Ace woke up after we were talking or after I was talking and I had to tend to him. But I just wanted to say that if you guys do like these kind of videos, you know, just honestly sharing my experiences, then we can totally keep it going. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Comment down below any other subjects you would like me to cover or if there's any subjects that you want Zach to cover. Zach has been missing from the last few of our videos. I've been giving him a little bit of a break um but he is totally ready to start back shooting so please comment down below if there's anything that you want him to talk about with his experiences and yeah we will talk soon come say hi zach the youtube world is like what happened to him hey guys <laughs>